एक्सॉटिक्स आर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ब्लेंड्स ऑफ स्वेप्स फ्यूचर्स फॉरवर्ड्स एंड ऑप्शन एंड समटाइम्स दीज ब्लेंड्स गिव सरप्राइजिंग रिजल्ट टू देयर बायर्स लेट सी हाउ दीज ब्लेंड्स वर्क a floater may be an inverse floater this means that this type of floater fluctuates inversely with some rate like liber for example a floater might pay an interest rate of 20% might a uh, minus liber to its buyer and if the liber rate 9% then the inverse will be paying 11% and if the liber rate is 12% the inverse will be paying 8% this means that the purchaser of an inverse can profit from inverse only if the interest rates fall there are supercharged versions of inverse and floaters for in, in, for floaters this supercharged version is termed as super floater and for inverse the supercharged version is termed as super inverser as this inverse fluctuates more than one for one time movement in the interest rates let's see an example of super inverse floater it pays let's say an interest rate of 30% minus twice of liber now if the liber is 10% then it will be paying 10% and if the liber is 7% the inverse will be paying 16% which is higher by 6% over our previous example sometimes uh, derivatives and options can be combined in order to bound the impact of interest rate within a certain range and these two bounds are termed as cap and floor interest rate cap means the highest possible rate a buyer a borrower need to pay whereas the interest rate floor is the minimum interest rate that may be charged to a borrower under a loan contract for example how borrowing under cap will work Uh, a firm gets short term loan at 7% cap now the firm is concerned about any rise in the interest rates so uh, the firm goes for liber as a reference rate of interest for the cap if the cap uh, now the cap will pay to the firm if the interest rate goes beyond 7% means if the liber is greater than 7% and if the liber is lesser than 7% the firm uh, will get nothing this means that as the firm is buying the cap the firm has assured that the it will not have to pay over 7% to the lender the second case we have lending under floor let's see how this work for the lender a bank is lending short term at 7% floor the bank is concerned with the expected fall in the interest rates in the market so the bank buys a floor to protect itself from such expected drop in the interest rates at if the liber is lesser than 7% means if liber falls by uh, lesser than 7% the floor will be paying to the bank the differential amount and if the liber goes high over 7% the bank will receive nothing this means the buying of floor by the bank has assured the bank that the bank will not receive interest lesser than 7% in this particular loan agreement